Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ismail Bilal Saleem. I'm going to uh, start off with a, a recitation from the Quran. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim, bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim. Pardon the uh, interruption outside. Uh, people next door are worshiping pretty loudly, dancing and playing music. It starts off. Well, I'm going to start off with Huwa Allahu ladhi la illaha illahu al-alimu al-ghaybi wa shahadati Huwa Rahmanu Rahim Huwa Allahu ladhi la illaha illahu al-maliku al-kudusu Salamu al-mukminu al-muhayminu al-azizu Jabaru mutakabir Subhanallahi ama yusrikun Huwa Allahu al-qaliku al Bariyu al-Musawir Lahu al-Asma'u al-Husna Yusabihu lahu ma fi samawati Wal-Ardi wa huwa al-Azizu al-Hakim It is translated He is Allah Other than him there is no God He is the knower of the unseen And what is evident He is Eternally merciful and especially merciful. He is Allah. There is no other God but Him, the sovereign, the pure, the perfect, the bestower of faith, the overseer, the exalted in might, the compelling, and the superior. Exalted is Allah above anything they compare to Him or anything they associate with Him. He is Allah, the creator. The inventor, the fashioner, to him belongs all the beautiful names, the best names. Whatever is in heavens and whatever is on the earth exalts him, and he is exalted in might and wise. Now I chose this these three verses because they have so many names of Allah in them. Maybe 13, 14 of name, the names in there. Aside from the, the name Allah, he is also called Rahman, Rahim. He's called Malik, uh, Sukudus, meaning, uh, meaning holy. He is called the uh, source of peace, the bestower of faith, the wise, the exalted, the inventor, the creator, the giver of form. There are over 99 names of Allah mentioned in the Quran. And not one of them is Father. Not one of them is Father. I think last Father's Day I said something similar to this. Now the reason I say this is because it is of grave importance. The last couple of weeks I've been talking to you about comparative religion and about Christians who have some difficulty following their religion. Last week we were talking about turn the other cheek and no Christian, no Christian I've ever met, the, uh, I'm going to say the large majority of them don't believe in turn the other cheek. There's a minority who believes in turn the other cheek at all times. And those who try to practice it, in fact, I proved last week that Jesus did not even practice this. So there's another one that is uh, pretty important. In Matthew 23, Jesus is recorded as saying, do not. This is a command. Now he's saying, do not. Don't do this. You know, you know how people say, you know, I don't believe in do's and don'ts, right? This is Jesus. To some people, he is the Lord and Savior. He said, do not call any person on earth father. In Matthew 23, 9. Do not, I'm going to repeat it, do not call anyone on earth your father, because there is only one father, and that father is in heaven. So how a Christian nation has Father's Day behooves me. Perhaps they missed this verse, or they said, well, I don't care what this verse says, or they interpret it in some other way, but I promise you there's no other way. He says, don't call anyone on earth father, because there's only one father, and that is the father in heaven. 
Now, there's multiple problems with that. Obviously, you do have an actual father. The other thing is people misconstrue the word father and start taking it literally. When, I mean, it's almost no other way. If God is your father, then who is your mother? Right? Father denotes that you have begotten someone. Allah says in the Quran, Lam yalid ba lam yuled. He doesn't have any children and he is not the child of anyone. So you shouldn't call him father. That's why father is taken out of the 99 names or not used at all. It is a correction to say you shouldn't call God your father. He is the originator. He is the creator. He is the founder of the, he's the evolver, the creator of everything, but he's not your father. He doesn't have, he doesn't do what it is required to have children in order to create something God says be and it comes into existence. A father does something else. He cohabits with a, with a, with a mother or with a woman and then creates a child. That's why we have so much confusion. And then just the idea uh, of Catholicism. You know, they call the Pope's father. When Jesus explicitly, listen, Matthew 23, 9 says, don't call anyone on earth your father, not even your father. Now, as Malcolm X once said, I didn't come here to tell you the truth. I mean, I didn't come here to say what you like. I came in to tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. It may be uh, not good to tell you on Father's Day that if you believe in this, you probably shouldn't be calling people father. But the alternative is be a Muslim. If you believe in Christianity, follow Christianity. You know, they have what would Jesus do? Jesus wouldn't work, wouldn't follow Father's Day. He wouldn't. Because he said, don't call anybody father except the person who is in heaven. And he also said, don't call anybody teacher except him, except the Messiah, because he's your only teacher. So teacher's appreciation day, that's not Christianity. That's in fact, in direct opposition to Christianity. Father's Day is in direct opposition to Jesus. So if you want to... Um, Think about comparative religion. Think about what would Jesus do according to the scriptures. Now, let me tell you what Jesus would actually do because Jesus is a Muslim. He wouldn't say the only father is the father in heaven. Someone else, in my view, made this up and put it into his mouth because he was a Muslim. So he wouldn't call God father because he knows that God doesn't begin nor is he begotten. Right? So in this Quran, there are several examples of fathers who are good examples to follow. And Allah says in the Quran, who commands us to honor our parents, honor our mother and father. In, you know, from a child all the way until they are no longer here, and even when they're gone. And even if they disbelieve in the religion you believe in, Allah commands us to speak kindly to them, speak kind words to them. You think of Musa or Moses, he was raised in the household of the Pharaoh. He still treated him with respect, even though he was saying he was being he was an oppressor, saying the Pharaoh was an oppressor. Ibrahim, who Allah says is, is an example for us, his father. So, you know, people often say you need a good example, a good example to follow. Ibrahim's father was going to kill him because as Abraham told his father to worship the one true God, and he had multiple gods. His, his, his father had multiple gods. So Moses, I'm sorry, Abraham went to his father in all kindness and said, Oh, my father, worship one God. Don't worship these statues. Don't worship anything that cannot harm or benefit you or itself. And his father said, get away from me. Otherwise, I'll stone you to death. And the people tried to set Abraham on fire. I say this to say that Abraham's father wasn't a great example, but Abraham was a great example of a good father. He fathered, he fathered Ishmael and Isaac and both of them and their children and their children's children. Abraham prayed for them to be righteous, good people. He gave them an example to follow of how to be a good man, to be a good husband. He had two wives. Both of them he treated fairly. 
Both of them he gave uh, equity and equality. He took care of both of them, right? And the children. So he is a great example to follow and, and to do opposite of what his father did. And Isaac did the same thing. Uh, and Jacob, whose name was Israel, whose name was changed to Israel, did the same thing. He was a good father to his children. So the other thing is dealing, dealing with fatherhood is that not all the time will your children follow in the footsteps that you uh, want them to follow in. Um, for example, um, Jacob, Yacoub, his children, his, well, his, his youngest son, Yusuf, was a righteous man, a great righteous man. But his other sons threw his brother into a, a well and put him and sold him into slavery. Ultimately, they did repent, but they did go astray. So you can be the best parent. You can do all the right things, give them all the right examples to follow and all of the right instructions, and they still may go off course. But luckily, or hopefully, if you give them that, give them that good foundation, they won't stray far away. Lukman is another example. The Quran speaks about him who was an, was an African man, who was a sage. He has verses in the Quran that is dedicated to him talking to his son, telling his son how to be a righteous man, how to be a man who is not arrogant, who is humble, who believes in God, who strives for righteousness, to, who is a good judge of character and a good judge, period. A good, uh, wise person is what Lukman was. So he was a great example for his children, for his son specifically. And Noah, this is another example of Noah was a great person. So we have to realize this also is that in the Islam, all of the prophets were examples, not just for their time, but for all times. So these prophets were the best people on earth at that time. They were the people to follow. So at the time of Noah, he was the man in all respects. You know, people followed him. They clamored to be next to him if they wanted to be towards righteousness and steer themselves towards God. Yet his son and his wife turned away. So not all the time when you give a good example and you give instructions will people follow them. Even prophets were not listened to, were not adhered to. But as a, as a man of God, and to a high, I mean, on this high degree, people didn't listen to him. So even on a lesser degree that maybe we may be on, some people might listen to us. But it's still our goal, still our objective, still our duty to convey the message as best as possible, to be as righteous as possible. Al-Islam does not teach that God is the father and that you can't call your father father. So if you want to call your father father and you want to honor him on uh, Father's Day, be a Muslim. All right, y'all. Peace.